Today is an exciting day, church, because today we have 13 people getting baptized. Come on, let's put our hands together for what Jesus Christ is doing in this place, in this church. We truly are living out uh, the, the, the Great Commission, which is to go and win disciples, baptizing them in the uh, name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's amazing what's happening. Uh, and so they're going to be spread out between the first and second service today. Uh, but those, for those of you who don't know what water, bapti water baptism is, water baptism is uh, the next step in your salvation process. And it's the next step. Once you've given your life to Christ, uh, what, it, what it, the Bible says is that um, when our old man is going into the water, it's representative of our old man dying. And as we come out of the water, it's our new man coming to life. And so without further ado, we have five people getting baptized this service. So let's go ahead and put our hands together one more time for Jesus. And we can go ahead and roll the first clip. Hey guys, I'm Julian Medina. And uh, I'm coming to Hungry Gen for about a month. And why I came was honestly my dad moved here. I started coming to this church, all my brothers. And uh, I was gone for about a year into drugs, going through a dark time, a real dark time. And I honestly couldn't get away from all the drugs. So I moved here and I started coming here and coming back home. I used to be close to God before. Yeah, I'm coming back home, gonna get baptized. So I feel good. So, Julian, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Abigail Cantu. Um, I've been attending Hungry Gen for about a month now. It's my fourth time coming. And um, I've always been curious. I've always searched for God. I've always, um, you know, wanted to follow his path. And for some reason, I just, whenever I would go pray or whenever I would go to um, church, I always had this, like, feeling in me that, like, you know, why don't I feel more? Why don't I feel like the person next to me, why don't I pray that way, that the way they do, you know? And um, coming to Hungry Gen very much changed all of that. Being here at Hungry Gen, it finally feels right to me. I, I love this place, and um, I just pray that being here, getting baptized through Hungry Gen, um, allows me to open my spiritual door to be able to spread God's word. So Abigail, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I just wanted to kind of give you a little background on me. I heard, first heard about uh, Hungry Gen was at the conference, the Holy Spirit conference. Uh, just recently, and um, my wife invited me. Actually, I wasn't really expecting to go to something like that. I wasn't. I was uh, working and was tired. Didn't feel like it. And I just said, you know what? I'll go. I'll go to second service. It was on a Saturday, and um, glad I went. I was expecting like a two-hour quick service, and it ended up being four and a half hours or so. And something really interesting, something that pulled on my heart, and I just said, you know what? Let's go. Let's go to this uh, hungry gen and see what their church is all about. And, now we're here. So, Paul, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? I do. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I gave my life to God at the Holy Spirit conference. Uh, I was going through some stuff in my life where I just couldn't help myself anymore. And uh, since then, the help that I needed, I've gotten, and my life has changed drastically. Uh, I'm ready to do uh, this and get baptized, and uh, my life is forever changed. All right, Jeremy, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. 
Do you promise to follow him with good, clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes, I do. <laughs> Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Maribel, and I gave myself to Jesus at the Holy Spirit Conference on August 24th. Um, before I gave myself to God, I was lost. Um, after I gave myself to God, I am stress-free. Um, my life has changed for the better, and I'm getting baptized today. All right, Maribel, do you believe in Jesus Christ as uh, Do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow Him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. a long story. God took me down some interesting paths to get here. Um, I strayed away from God and uh, I had at one point been baptized. I don't feel like it was a really a decision from the heart. I felt pressure from my family. And um, how I ended up being here in this church is uh, my daughter would go to preschool next door and I would come in and talk to Brian and Elena. Yes, you guys, I love you. And um, that's how I ended up here. I've been going here for about seven months, and this is like my home, my extended family, and I'm glad to be here. So, Harmony, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? I do. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hello, my name is Casey Anderson, and I gave my life to Christ on October 31st, 2017. I then came to the Race to Deliver Conference 2018, which was delivered. I've been lucky enough to come back for the internship, which I'm now currently in. Um, it has been a wild ride uh, since I got to know Christ personally, and I'm getting baptized today because I want everyone to know that I follow Jesus now. So Casey, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Heck yeah. Woo. <laughs> and do you promise to follow him with a good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Heck yeah. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Jania Anderson. I am from Tri-Cities. I came to Hungry Generation. I was just going through a really hard time in my life and I was scrolling through Facebook and I just started to see these pictures of this church and I was like, everybody looks so happy there. Like I need to get there. And after my first visit, I wanted to come back. I felt so welcome. And then after that, it's just like, I went home and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if anybody's gonna reach out to me. I don't know what to do next. And I just started getting calls from people and I found out about the home groups and I've just been like, so involved like I look forward to coming to this church every Sunday and now I know my next step is I want to get baptized so I can get closer in my walk with the Lord. So Jania, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes Lord. <laughs> Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Lakeisha Love, and I was referred by a friend named Jania. And um, one of the experiences I had here was one day we came in after church, my very first time. They prayed for my back pain one day, and it actually worked. I was surprised. I was shaking. I was crying. I didn't even know how to like um, respond to it. I was freaking out. But um, the reason why I'm here today is to get the next step in life and start a new beginning. So, Lakeisha, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Richard Brown, and I've accepted Christ as my Savior, and I want to be born again by being baptized. And uh, I've been to Hungry Generation before, and this is the place to do it. Thank you. So, Richard, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, Mary, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, Angela, can you tell us how old you are? I'm seven years old. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus. And what made you decide to get baptized today? Today. Today? What, <laughs> what made you decide to get baptized today? Because my mom told me I, I, my mom told me I should get baptized today. Oh, yeah? And do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with a good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Well, based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi, I'm Haley. I've been going to Hunger Gen for a month already. The first time I came here with my grandmother's friend, she brought me for a reason, and I got saved the first time I ever came, and I've been different my entire life since then. I've been doing better things in my life, and God saved me, and I loved it, and I feel much happy with my life. Today I'm getting baptized because I want people to know I'm following Jesus. So Haley, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Based on your faith, your confession, and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey, this is Pastor Vlad. Thank you for watching this video. If you need deliverance, subscribe. I'm just kidding. But seriously, what are you waiting for? Just subscribe.